about my week. And be honest, this has probably been one of the best weeks of my whole entire life. Like last weekend, I randomly booked this like Harry Potter train bridge trip. And because it was just like being run by um, like this student group. So I was like, hey, you know, like I'll check this out with a couple of my friends. Turns out we literally went to Hogwarts. It was the best day of my whole entire life. I'm just gonna put in some stuff right here. Um, we stopped at all these cute little towns and we just basically showed up for the bus and there was a tour guide. They took us, you know, through the highlands and all the way up to this like area called Glen Finnan. It was so pretty, oh my God. It was incredible. Literally one of the best days of my whole entire life. Don't feel anxious, don't feel shame. If there's a question, it can't wait another day Don't feel like it's all in vain I try to remember it ain't a race Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway Breathe in, it's about happiness in the air Take it slow, watch the road Stop driving myself insane the end of the day You got me in If there's an answer, it can't wait till another day Don't regret making mistakes There's no need, it's just a game Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway Breathe in, it's about happiness in the air Take it slow um, and we saw rainbows that day, which was just like so cute. And then the next day I actually got it, so you can see. I went for a walk, just like on Arthur Arthur's seat or like the Hollywood like park, I guess is what, what they would call it. I don't know what like part of the park is what, but I went for a walk and um, it was like lightly raining. So I was like, I'll be fine because the weather literally changes like a hundred times a day here. So I went out for a walk and it was just so gorgeous. There were, I think I saw maybe like five different rainbows that day. It was just insane. literally one minute this is what i mean what i mean about the weather like it was like sunny for a little bit on my walk i walked for about like an hour and a half i would say and for like a minute i came back completely drenched like my shoes were full of water like like everything was like my raincoat's actually like it's pretty good i got it from um, this brand called fat face um i think it's a british brand actually um but i ordered it from like the, they have it in the u.s too and i think they have it in canada yeah i got that which was <laughs> which was very it's very helpful it's like actually like really like waterproof but my umbrella is so bad i need to get a new umbrella because um the second i open it it just like flips and it out and walking around like with my like umbrella that's like <laughs> anyway 
this is my sweater. So they have these like vintage emporiums here. They're like literally, there's like one on every block. There's not like a whole lot of shopping here, I would say, but like for vintage shopping and like there's a lot of like charity shops. So I got this. And then another day it was raining and because I'm like a folklore nerd, because <laughs> My freshman year of college, I took a, a class on ghost stories and I just became like obsessed with like local like folklore with cities. So I picked myself up this book called Scottish Traditional Tales and it's really interesting. So they have this like storytelling festival here, which I'm going to try to go to and which is okay. So Charleston is one of like the most haunted cities in America and apparently Edinburgh is like the most haunted city in Europe. So I was very excited when I like learned that little bit. And um, so I got myself this book and uh, it's like written, like they recorded people telling stories and then they wrote it down. So it's, it's very like stylized, but I, I really en am enjoying it. Oh, and then I have a funny story. So this past, you know, like two Sundays ago, I didn't, I didn't get any of it, but I got up really early for coffee <laughs> and um, not many people, not many people wear baseball hats here. I have noticed, which is kind of a bummer because I enjoy a good baseball hat, but I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb. So I got up really early to get some coffee and um, I went to this like coffee stand in the part of the meadows. That's what it was. And I had like, I had no makeup on. Like I was just like, I was looking crusty and I had my baseball hat on and um, I went to order a macchiato, which the guy made fun of me. I heard him tell his co coworker, he was like, it's called a macchiato. And I was like, you know, I'm American. So that's how I said it anyway. <laughs> I got up to the front and um, this girl like looks at me and she's like, do I know you? Are you famous? And I was like, no. <laughs> she continues like talking and she's like, oh, you know, you look like that girl. And I'm like, I'm like trying to think because like people have people, you know, people have said things, most people that, you know, they're like, oh, you look like someone's up. They're like, oh, you look like, you know, I never know which one it's going to be. And so she starts saying Jody, and I'm like, oh, Jody Comer, because I've gotten that before from you guys. And um, so I was like, oh, like, yeah, Jody Comer, like, I get that sometimes. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, it must be weird to be famous. I'm sitting here like, yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, yeah, um, definitely, like, yeah, probably weird. <laughs> She just keeps like going on and on about how like she would feel if she was famous and like if people recognized her and I'm just standing there like I'm I'm just trying to pay for my coffee so I walk away <laughs> and she starts like screaming to her co-worker she's like we just met Jodie Comer like that's crazy and I'm like like I'm so happy for you that you think that this has happened but like it's just it's really shocking it's it's just me Oh, also, I watched this video by like Nicole Raffi and <laughs> it was like about like sometimes I watch her. She she has good content. She's a much, much bigger person, but she made this video about like regrets in college. <laughs> and one of them was like going to the gym or like not going to the gym or like not like because she's like into weightlifting. And I got into it like this like summer, but like in the comfort of my own home. Like I don't want to do that in front of people. So I've been getting up like really early to go to the gym. So like people, so it'll be like a little quieter. <laughs> but anyway, it's been good actually. Um, I've just been trying to like compartmentalize <laughs> that and like just do what I want. I don't know. Life is good. I have to listen to more online lectures, which like I check out of them like every 30 seconds, which is bad. I forgot how bad online school is. The tutorials are nice, but like online school, like you really have to pay attention. <sighs> okay. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba.